uh, as we reported, a lot of discussion about Barnaby Joyce threats to cross the floor and so on. But this morning, you've got a version of a conversation between Barnaby Joyce and the Prime Minister. Talk us through it. A text message conversation, Kieran, that occurred on uh, about Thursday during question time. And Barnaby Joyce complained bitterly there. He complained bitterly to the PM about Michael McCormack's ministry and how Keith Pitt and Darren Chester were in there, but the likes of Matt Canavan were not. In that exchange, it said that Scott Morrison replied to Barnaby Joyce words to the effect of, it's not my business, it's National Party business, putting the blame in effect for the, for the ministry, the Cabinet, and no Joyce supporters in there, on his deputy. That's the version of events that's been given to me. And we've seen quite a number of things happen now. We've seen um, a threat by, by the, through the Australian from Barnaby Joyce to cross the floor and that the rebels might cross the floor. I'm told this is more a shot across the bowels than anything. And then we saw a leaked story after that uh, around gas and around a possible gas tax. Mm. And, and we've got uh, Josh Frydenberg's reaction via Twitter. It was immediately... Speculation's wrong. This is not happening. I won't have any report by budget time. But is there substance more broadly to that report? Yeah, sure. I mean, and the, Can Matt Canavan was the resources minister. Immediately that article appeared. Uh, he tweeted as well. And his tweet uh, basically said, we don't need... New taxes are not the solution our economy needs. So obviously senior people in government are pointing the figure, finger when it comes to this leak. Frydenberg's trying to play it down. He certainly says there that it won't be in place for the budget to save the surplus or anything of that nature. But it is a fact that the Treasury review is due to come back after the budget and then there's uh, a possibility that the tax could change and that there could be protests, I guess, from the gas industry. But just, just to recap, the Prime Minister, in his response to Barnaby Joyce, says this is a National Party problem, this is not my business. But the fact is it is his business, isn't it? Because any, when it's a governing party, it reflects on the government. Well, two-seat majority, it's very much his business. And you can see the sort of issues ahead that Barnaby Joyce could perhaps move on. I also thought interesting that straight after this fight and fight over coal and these sorts of things and Nationals numbers, Kieran, the Prime Minister went straight to Queensland to kind of re-announce a feasibility study into a coal-fired power station, exactly what Barnaby Joyce, Matt Canavan, George Christensen have asked for, and that was almost his first act after McCormack wins back yeah, the leadership. Very 